one Grammy, over 3 billion streams, and a whopping 15 Billboard hits. This is the story of Roddy Rich, the man who's been lighting up stages and blasting through our speakers with his fiery performances and tsunami-like hits. But hey, fame's a crazy ride, right? One minute you're on top of the world, the next you're fighting to stay there. So what happened? Did Roddy's tunes lose their edge? Or did the world just move on to the next big thing? Stick around, cause we're about to dive deep into Roddy Rich's story. It's a roller coaster and we're here to break it all down. Roddy Rich, born Roderick Wayne Moore Jr., grew up in Compton, California, an area known for its significant influence on the rap music scene and its challenging street life. His upbringing was a mix of the difficulties associated with gang involvement and a strong affinity for music. From a young age, Roddy was drawn to music, particularly rapping. At the age of eight, he began experimenting with this form, using it as a way to express his thoughts and experiences. His early engagement with music showed a natural talent for composing engaging lyrics. Roddy's interest in music grew during his teenage years, leading him to create his own beats and transform his bedroom into a studio. This period of learning and experimentation helped him develop his distinctive style. However, his life in Compton face challenges, including joining the Crips at 15. Despite the risks, music remained a constant source of motivation and comfort during his adolescence. The now 18-year-old Roddy Rich caused a big stir in the music industry with his debut mixtape, Feed the Streets. His undeveloped skill and ability to craft engaging stories and reflective lyrics were on full display in the mixtape. The local hip-hop scene found it appealing, and a large number of music lovers attended. With his debut, Roddy had a significant career shift from aspiring musician to well-known figure in the local music scene. He started doing live performances at local clubs, where his captivating stage presence and thrilling live performances cemented his reputation. People could relate to his music on a personal level, especially those who had gone through similar circumstances. His songs became a voice for inspirational tales of resiliency and a source of hope for people pursuing their goals in the face of adversity. In 2018, Roddy Rich's music career took a significant turn with the release of his second mixtape, Feed the Streets 2. The single Die Young was a major hit, connecting with listeners through relatable lyrics and real emotions. The song quickly gained millions of streams, solidifying Rich as an up-and-coming hip-hop star. The mixtape's success was a game-changer in Rich's music career. With his growing fame, Roddy Rich started working with well-known artists like Meek Mill and Nipsey Hussle. These collaborations helped him reach even more people and strengthened his position in the music industry. Roddy Rich's music started to reach fans far beyond his local area. People all over the world were listening to his songs, drawn in by their genuine feel, the depth of the lyrics, and the emotional impact they had. In 2019, Roddy Rich released his first studio album, Please Excuse Me for Being Antisocial. This album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 and has the most first week sales. The album's popular singles, including The Box, High Fashion, and Wish I Didn't, played a key role in establishing Roddy Rich as a major figure in the hip hop industry. The album was praised for its lyrical content, catchy melodies, and production that skillfully combined elements of trap and R. B. Roddy Rich's career changed with this album's popularity. He went from local fame to worldwide music star. His music touched audiences worldwide and reflected themes of suffering, optimism, and aspiration. In 2021, Roddy Rich released his second album, Live Life Fast, but it didn't receive the same level of acclaim as his debut. This shift in reception marked a challenging phase in his career. After the triumph of Please Excuse Me for being antisocial, the long wait for Live Life Fast set high expectations among fans and critics. However, the two-year interval led to a gradual waning of the intense interest that had surrounded his earlier work. By the time Live Life Fast arrived, the landscape of listener anticipation had shifted significantly. The album itself faced a mixed response. Critical reviews from major music publications pointed out a perceived lack in the vibrancy and inventiveness that had characterized Roddy's earlier work. The album struggled to replicate the commercial success of its predecessor, reflecting in its sales figures and streaming counts. 
During this time, Roddy Ricch also navigated personal and legal challenges that impacted his public image. A DUI arrest in 2020, followed by a missed court date in 2022, led to legal complications, casting a shadow over his rising star. Compounding these issues were the allegations of infidelity made by his ex-girlfriend, which further affected his reputation. Simultaneously, the hip-hop world was undergoing its own transformations. New artists were emerging, bringing with them fresh sounds and styles. This evolving musical terrain, coupled with an industry increasingly focused on streaming and singles, posed new challenges. Roddy Rich's style, known for its introspective depth and longer format, found itself at odds with the prevailing trends. Lately, Roddy Rich's career has become more contemplative. After Live Life Fast, he's produced little new songs. As rumors regarding his third album, Love Is Barely Real Anymore, appear, fans and reviewers await his next move. Yet, with no confirmed release date, the anticipation continues to build. Reflecting on his journey, Roddy's debut album, Please Excuse Me For Being Antisocial, was a milestone that catapulted him to the forefront of the rap scene. However, the follow-up up, Live Life Fast didn't quite hit the same mark, leading to a dip in his popularity and critical acclaim. This shift has left many wondering about his ability to recapture the captivating essence of his initial success. Love is barely real anymore carries significant weight in Roddy Rich's career. It's more than just another album. It's poised to be a pivotal moment, a chance for him to reclaim his position as a leading figure in hip hop. The anticipation surrounding this album is intense, with fans and critics keenly waiting to see if it can rekindle the magic that first brought Roddy Rich into the limelight. Roddy Rich's upcoming album, Love Is Barely Real Anymore, holds significant potential for his success in the hip-hop industry. If it resonates well with audiences and critics, it could signal a triumphant return for him. However, if it falls short of expectations, it could solidify the challenges he has faced since Live Life Fast, making it difficult for him to regain his previous success. This album is a crucial juncture in his career.